found something interesting during the fight. Hmm. Found something? And here I thought we were fighting for our lives. It looked to me like you were trying to save your own neck. My neck? Seemed to remember saving yours a few times back there. <laughs> when I was wrestling with one of those bastards, this coat ripped loose. Hmm. It's a note. It says they're looking for a man named Lancaster. Lancaster? The weapons dealer? I don't know another one. Hmm. Nah. Man's got his fingers in every pie in the Caribbean. But if this is true, he's staying in Bridgetown now. Seems that's where our friend Torado is going to be looking for him. Bridgetown, eh? Yeah. If you're looking to get even, confront him there. Better there than in the Spanish's own backyard. Less messy that way. I got business in Barbados. A large group of my people are gathering soon, and I should be there. A gathering? I thought you were talking about taking some time off. Guess my bears will have to take care of themselves for a while longer. But you're right. We've been on the run for so long. I've almost forgotten what normal life on land looks like. No offense to you, of course, Christopher. You're a grown man. You can make your own decisions. That's nice of you to know this. So what will you do? Mm. Are you heading to Bridgetown? To Port Royal Horrors give you the burning drip. This Dorado, I won't let him off my hook. But I'll give you a ride to Barbados. Least I could do for you saving my neck. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm parched. Tavern? First sensible thing you've said all day. Lead on. Listen, I say sorry. I didn't mean to spill it on your shoes. Sure. I understand, you little fuck. Let me show you how much I understand. I see a place to sit. Come on! So you were saying? Mm, nothing beats a frosty mug after a good fight. I'm just happy to be alive. You're thinking about Hammerhead Harry upstairs, aren't you? I'm thinking of any way we can get ourselves a new ship, Chris. Go ahead, but that's still chicken feed, Chris. The only way to make enough money to buy a new ship is with a ship. See the problem there? A damn moneylender. Believe me, I'm not at all that fond of them either. But there isn't much else we can do. We'll figure something out, Marcus. We should be counting our blessings, Chris. Lady Luck isn't always going to spread her legs for us like she did back there. Of course, Mr. Donovan. Long time no see. You remember Marcus? So... How's things? Regretting your decision to stick with him?
No one forced you to join him, Donovan. It's a captain's right and privilege to do as he pleases. As long as he's filling your bellies and your pockets. So why don't you do something about him then? Reminds me of how things went down in William's ship. Yeah. That was a damn powder keg waiting for a spark. You're thinking a challenge? By the rules of the coast, blade versus blade, it would keep me from having to deal with that bastard hammerhead, Harry. But taking him out won't make the crew yours. Will they follow you? You bet I am. Spaniards burn my ship. So, Chris, it seems you've got another option. What do you think? I'm not too keen on being in anyone's debt. I'll take care of Captain Terrell. Sticking a blade in a man's back is easier than dealing with a damn lone shark, that's for sure. Likewise, Donovan. Fair enough, Donovan. If you see me coming, make sure the crew stands aside. See? A cold beer solves most of life's problems. Yeah. What's bothering you? So where do I find Terrell? Well, Donovan mentioned the docks, so th that's where I'd start. If not right outside, then perhaps at the far end of the pier. Just go left after leaving the inn. It's, it's not far. I'll be on my way, Marcus. Stay vigilant. I always am. You watch yourself, Chris. Something. Just keep your hands where I can see him. What's your problem? Barracuda pays me to deal with these problems. Ah, so you're his bodyguard then. You're a smart one, ain't you? I'm out of here.
Hey. Don't do anything stupid. Nobody tells me what to do. Fair enough. But don't be surprised when I smash your skull with my bare hands. You're a bit of a dumb bastard, aren't you? Right. Hey. Don't do anything stupid. You're a bit of a dumb bastard, aren't you? Right. One more question. Yes, Chris? So where do I find Terrell? Well, Donovan mentioned the docks, so th that's where I'd start. If not right outside, then perhaps at the far end of the pier. Just go left after leaving the inn. It's, it's not far. I'll be on my way, Marcus. Stay vigilant. I always am. You watch yourself, Chris. Get moving, you cutlass rats! Get moving or I'll make you! I wanna see you working that gig like a whore works for a wealthy man's purse. We're feeling, lads! We're feeling! Yes, sir. What the devil do you want? William Terrell, I challenge you for the captaincy of this vessel. You challenge me? 
You dare challenge me, you bloody sod! I'm Captain Christopher Raven. I have the right of challenge by the rules of the coast. You think you have rights? Vermin like you have no rights. Donovan, get this worthy piece of rubbish out of my sight! You little shit! Once I'm done with this horse, son, I'll skin you alive! Chris, I heard the news. Surprised? <laughs> Not at all. When do we leave? Soon. Be prepared. I'm always prepared. Oh, I almost forgot. Yes? We need to go to Bridgetown first. Why? A group of maroons have gathered there. I need to talk to my people. It's urgent. All right. We'll head there first, then. Good. Let's set sail. Oh, yeah.